guys welcome back to another going medieval episode so today i was thinking about uh i don't know if we should really mine out the remainder of the clay there or not we do have quite a bit elsewhere like there's tons over here and i'm sure there's more veins of it let me just double check to make sure that there are more veins if not then we might want to mine it out um, let's see here. I'm not actually seeing that much. Oh, yeah, there's a huge vein right over here, so. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. That should do as well. And if we have to, we'll just try to remember that it's under a building. And that we'll have to kind of work around it, I guess. Alright, so, let's go ahead and tell these guys to remove these things. I put a ladder in so I could, um remove some of this uh they kept dropping it in places <laughs> that was kind of a problem so uh we can remove that now and hopefully it won't drop down there and it will instead be up there when it breaks hopefully <laughs> i'm hoping that they don't go down there to break it because that would be kind of a problem sylvester is coming to uh remove it Hopefully it's not going to go down. Perfect. All right, good. Uh, let's go ahead and fill this in then. And then we can start building that uh, blacksmith um, forge over on this area. Probably today as well. So we can start by clearing some of the stuff out. And um, once I get that all built in, then we'll be able to start actually designing it i think something um a little larger than this maybe long wise would work well and i noticed that the settlers are actually starting to use the pass more often which is great well <laughs> minus that guy he just decides to go this way i'm not sure where he's going oh he's going there that's why but yeah um actually how much dirt do we have left 125 135 it's only like five for building so we probably want to mine out some more stuff uh just to kind of get it a little bit more dirt we're running a little bit low oh and there's a huge vein right here as well so uh, the problem with that though is it's right underneath like our where we're going to be putting the lake so that's kind of unfortunate but um okay where are you going okay i think there's a lot of people coming back from uh hauling wood I told them to haul a lot of wood.
You know, I didn't realize until now that there was a perfectly good steel helmet that was basically told to not be picked up over here. So we'll put that on. We have now steel helmets for all our people. Or not steel, but you know, there's a few people with steel helmets. Um, yeah, that, that helmet was okay, but it wasn't like, that good. So, um, let's see. We got uh, the blacksmith... Uh, pretty much built uh, the interior still needs some work for sure uh, we need uh, two four six eight ten eleven twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty uh, more stone bricks now I'm not sure if we're gonna have that much it doesn't look like we will so what I'm thinking about doing is actually sending somebody to go trade in one of the settlements um, around nearby us so we can get hopefully some more stone bricks um, I think that's what they called uh, limes limestone block floor or limestone blocks I think what limestone brick pile yeah so bricks yeah all right so but yeah outside of that I've basically this will be um, kind of like the limestone variation for the texture and these will be like an expansion of those two things so it'll look kind of like a chimney out of this part i was aiming for that it's a little harder to design than minecraft or something like that because you, there's not as many shapes to work with but um you know we'll work with what we got and as far as the smith itself uh, we should be able to build a limestone variant. Uh, we'll stick that, I guess, right up against this wall here. That might work. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out the best placement for it. Because, yeah, because if we put it right here, then it'll be center with the, the chimney, right? So, we'll do that. I don't know how much it's going to cost. 100 uh, limestone, so that's not too bad. Uh, limestone bricks oh then we're definitely going to need to um, go trading then okay so let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and get a caravan set up region uh, 21 for these guys so we might be able to ship some supplies over there uh, let's see here what do we got for supplies Some iron ignits. I'm not sure if they'll accept those. Uh, we've got some of that. We can sell those. Um...
All right, so our caravan should be at the uh, destination pretty soon. Uh, looking at the map, they're just right over the uh, settlement. So we'll see if we can't get um, their, uh, some stone bricks and stuff like that. Uh, last time I picked some up there, so I'm not sure if we'll be able to get them again. But we have a whole bunch of stuff that we can gift the um, people there, if not. And hopefully if they have a chicken, um, I think we need a female. Yeah, we need a female chicken in order to get that started. And maybe if they have a other donkey. I can't remember if we have... This is young, it's female, so if they have a male um, donkey, then we'll be able to maybe breed those. Uh, that's a young one, so we might be able to get away with that. I don't know, maybe? But I put a fence around this particular thing. I think we'll end up keeping the tree farm here. And what we'll do is we'll kind of expand this way, and then down this way. And I already started to tell them to mine out these, uh, well, that one for the start. And then we can put our stables and stuff along here, I think. And eventually we'll have to figure out where we're going to be putting more houses and stuff like that. But we got tons of room still. We got some room back here, some room over here, more room in here for other buildings. And if we mine out that, then we have a little bit more room. But we should mine out that stuff first. Or some coal and other valuable resources mixed in there. So, um probably want to mine that out and we can always expand this way and then we have the iron as well that we can mine so yeah we got tons of room um it's just a matter of getting the stables all set up and i wanted to kind of branch out this way a little bit more just so we had more room for that and if we do put the uh gate over over on this side somewhere maybe up here then what we can do is we can have um, all this area uh, fenced off or unfenced, uh, depending on how we want to situate it. And we could even have more river uh, around our base. So those are always options. Um, but, you know, it's taking some time to plan out and try to figure out what I need to actually do. But I know that I'm going to need more room for the stables. So I'm going to start mining this out and stables are pretty cheap to build you just need a few supports and uh pillars but outside of that it's just like some cheap roofs and stuff like that so i'm not too worried about that
Okay, so I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but we did get the achievement of the uh, hunting all 20 rabbits for the game. So I have the 100% unlocked now, um, thanks to this series, I guess. So, um, yeah, I ended up getting a limestone uh, kitchen or stove. I didn't realize it was a stove at the time. I thought it said blacksmith, but... Uh, we're still short on the bricks, so we'll eventually have to save up for something and then go do something with it. I'm not sure what to do just yet. But uh, at least we have a stove now, um, which is good because we have a kitchen, but we can at least classify it as a proper room. Uh, right now it's just a regular spare room, so as soon as we put that down, it'll, it should be a regular kitchen. So um outside that if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out